This is Andre. Thank you very much. Uh, one, uh, one of the influences which I have to mention is um, probably the greatest band in the world, and of course it's the Beatles. And I had the good fortune to see them play a couple of times when I was young, uh, and also to play with Ringo. I did a tour with Ringo a few years ago. And, uh, thank you for all of you who were there. Uh, and it was lovely to, to play with him. He's a great, great drummer and a lovely man. And uh, one of the things, I, I, before I went to the rehearsals, I thought I'd buy Best of the Beatles book, you know, and I'll have all the songs there if he wants to play a song. I'll have all the chords to be able to play. So I bought this book and I sat at home one night and I started playing through it. And I began at 6 o'clock and I was still playing at 11.30 at night. And, uh, yeah, and, and, and the book had 200 songs in it. And it just made me realize just the extent, the magnitude of their catalog it was just incredible. And when we got to the rehearsals, um, I walked into the rehearsal room and there was Ringo and he, he was looking into my wardrobe case. He's a bit of a ferret, Ringo. Ferrets <laughs> around, you know. And it, you know, and he had all of this best of the Beatles thing. So he said to me, Greg, what's this? And uh, I said, oh, you must have seen it, Best of the Beatles. He said, no, I never saw it. And um, I said, tell me something, Richard. I said, I, you know, I've been lucky. I've had a few hits in my life. But tell me, how do you, how do you have 200? How does that happen? And he said, Greg, all I can tell you is every night, every day, no matter where the Beatles were, whether we were in a hotel, on a train, at a show, you know, he said, John and Paul walked in with at least one song each, and they were always hits. You know? And that was the incredible, incredible thing about the Beatles. Now and again, you, you, you find artists that are not just reflectors of light, they're, they're luminous. And Elvis was one of those people. You know, he was, I said the word before, but I, but I think it also applies to Beatles, they were very spiritual in a sense. You hear, you hear people talk about Beatle mania. And I've seen it, you know. It's something that transcends fanaticism or just going down fantastic. It just is a spiritual level of, um, of, of, of tuning in and appreciation of, of connection that uh, it's just very rare. You see it once in a lifetime, maybe a couple of times in a lifetime. The Beatles certainly had it anyway. Love and I'd like to, um, as a tribute to them, I'd like to do a song tonight. And I thought it'd be rather nice if we could all sing it together. Because I don't know where you sing here. Don't you? So, rather than just go crashing into it, because I know there are some shy people out there, I thought we'd have a little rehearsal. <laughs> so you know the song, and then it, it goes up. Uh... Hey, you've got to hide your lovely way. Hey, you've got to hide your lovely way. Andre. Yeah. Andre. <laughs> we need Please to explain to these good people what will happen. They don't see. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't want that to happen, do we? <laughs> okay. So all together, we're going to sing. You got to hide your love away. <laughs> 